It's one of the most beautiful views of any campus in America, the Pacific Ocean crashing against the shores of UC Santa Barbara. And on this marvelous campus sits the Thunderdome, the home of the UCSB men's basketball team, where tonight the Gauchos face the UC San Diego Tritons in what is UC San Diego's very first Big West Conference game. Hello everyone, I'm Jerry Fall, welcoming you to tonight's broadcast here on ESPN3. That's right, the Tritons are transferring from Division II to Division I, and tonight is going to be their very first Big West Conference game. They played UC Irvine last weekend in a non-conference game. They led for 25 points of that game, but ended up losing 79-65. to It's been two weeks since the Gauchos have played. They last swept Cal State Fullerton here at the Thunderdome, and Ja'Cory McLaughlin was a huge part of that. He was named the Big West Conference Player of the Week for his efforts in both games, and McLaughlin comes in tonight averaging 17 points. He leads the Gauchos in scoring, and Tony Rochak leads UC San Diego with the And there is Ja'Cory McLaughlin right there, number three for the Gauchos. Jerry Fall, Coach Jerry Pym. Glad you could join us here on Big West TV and uh, ESPN3 as we get set for tonight's game. The starting lineups as you look at Joe Pasternak. Starting lineups for UC San Diego under the direction of Eric Olin in his eighth season. In the backcourt, Gabe Hadley, Bryce Pope, Mikey Howell, he's the point guard. Jake Killingsworth is in the lineup as a guard. And at the forward position is Hugh Baxter. For the Gauchos, it is the original starting five for UCSB, Ja'Cory McLaughlin, Deverell Ramsey, Miles Norris, Brandon Cyrus, and Amadou So, and the Gauchos control the tip and we're underway here from the Thunderdome. Man-to-man -man defense to start with on their first possession and they get a steal with a bad pass coming down the boards. UC San Diego averages 12 steals per game. The Gauchos are the best team in the conference at taking care of the basketball, just a little bit more than 10 turnovers per game. In the post is Baxter. Now the Gauchos get it on the turnover. There's a good deflection by uh, Miles, and uh, the ball comes back in, and now they're on the operating area. There's Norris with it on the far side. Now to Devero Ramsey, the talented point guard from Los Angeles. And another uh, turnover by the Gauchos. Another deflection. Uh, it's a telegraph pass that you get your hands on, and that's happened twice now with two interceptions by UC San Diego. And there's a bumping foul on Brandon Cyrus. That's his first personal team foul, number one on the Gauchos. So far, it's two to one on turnovers in favor of UC San Diego. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's always a fear for a coach to start a game after being off for two weeks to see how much rust has has come onto the pipes. But uh, they'll get going. I think both teams will start completing passes here. Here's Howell with a drive to the basket. Missed it. The rebound Amadou So for UCSB. Five on four quickly. Ramsey bounce pass now to Norris. Back to Ramsey, three on the way. Good, DeVerle Ramsey with a three-pointer and the Gauchos have the lead. Wide open shot. Good offense by the Gauchos. So three nothing UCSB. The Gauchos are going to be defending on the perimeter like you've never seen before. San Diego averages 30 three-pointers per game. Yep, they attempt a lot of threes, and they make a good uh, percentage of them, too. There's and here goes one right here from Baxter, and that's off the mark. It'll go out of bounds off the shot. And Baxter is actually their five-man. There's a postman, so he will draw out the other team's postman, so you got all five of them can shoot three-point shots. Gaucho's with the three-to-nothing lead. UC San Diego, as I mentioned, against uh, Irvine. There's another turnover by the Gauchos against Irvine last weekend. They led that game for 25 minutes before eventually losing by 14. And there's a three by Jake Killingsworth. And we're tied at three. And Killingsworth again, one of the guys that gets down early. And they have the green light to shoot that three early, even on the fast break. Oh, there's so a wanted pass. inside and missed the shot. And a rebound, Killingsworth. It's a good pass by DeVerle Ramsey. So on his back. Now a bad pass here up into the front court by Howell. Gaucho's on the move. Here is Cyrus laying it up and in. 
Yeah, a tough break by uh, Amadou. He missed a, a cripple, a nice easy shot, a great pass. Uh, he's got to convert those, obviously. So the Gauchos with a five to three lead, 17.08 left here in the first half. And here's another turnover by UC San Diego. So both teams a little sloppy out of the gate. Deverell Ramsey down the lane, lays it up and in. What a play by Deverell Ramsey. Nice drive and a good, a good conversion. High off the glass. Another turnover. There's Howell into the front court with it now to Pope. Back to Howell, he'll launch a three and that is nothing but net. Very good three-point shooters. We're going to be saying that a lot tonight, I think, Jerry. Now, Mikey Howell with the three-pointer. He's now three of seven from downtown this season. He's one of the guys that doesn't shoot it as much as his teammates from downtown. He's a slasher, left-hander, good point guard. McLaughlin now looking into the right corner for Cyrus. Six on the shot clock. Here's Ramsey. Trade. And DeVerro with a left hand, left it short, poked the rebound. San Diego the other direction. Another Here's a three, three by Hadley, and that's off the mark. Tipped by Norris to Ramsey. Up ahead, Cyrus lays it up, missed the layup. Oh, my goodness. Brandon Tough. would love to have that one back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just tried to move it too much instead of just go up strong and score it off of both feet. Here's a pass down low, and San Diego has the lead at eight to seven. A good cut to the basket by Hugh Baxter, six foot eight, two hundred and ten pounds senior from Melbourne, Australia. Now Amadou got caught and got trailing that, and of course a good pass, a great play by uh, UC San Diego. Here's a whistle on a three-second violation on Amadou So, and that'll bring us to immediate timeout. 15-25 left to go as you look at Baxter who just gave UC San Diego the lead with that cut to the basket and the layup. 8-7, Tritons over the Gauchos. We'll be back. Jerry Fall, Coach Jerry Pim back at the Thunderdome where it's been a rough start for the Gauchos and Amadou So goes to the bench. UCSB has missed three layups. Yep, dead layups. Uh... And you can't do that, obviously. If they're going to give you layups, you've got to make them. You've got to be a little stronger with the ball and go up and be a little more assertive. That yep. happens. You can't make them all, but you should make those layup type shots. Ajari Sani is in the game for the Gauchos, as is Robinson Adehan. San Diego with the point guard, Mikey Howell with it. Now in the corner, another three on the way by Pope, and that's good. And San Diego doing what San Diego does, and that's shoot three-pointers. Yeah, you can't come off and help too much against this team because they're obviously looking for that shot. Very good shooters, average 30, 1% uh, from the three-point line. Destin Barnes is in the game for the Gauchos as well. Here is Ja'Cory McLaughlin, now to Ramsey. Out to Sonny, and Ajari will pull up for the short jumper. That's off the mark. Edahan with the rebound and the putback with the offhand. Nice play by Robinson. Nice play by Robinson. That was a good shot by uh, Ajari. He just got it a little bit. The guy was with him, a little bit from behind. So it's 11 to 9, San Diego with the lead. Here is Chase Rockamore, who's in the game, wearing number 22 for UC San Diego. And also Tony little Ratchik, push, and push. he traveled. Tony uh, Rochek is the brother of uh, UC Santa Barbara's Nico Rochek. They're both from Geneva, Switzerland. Yep, I think he's the older brother, this one, Tony. Tony's a junior. Here is a nice drive by Ja'Cory McLaughlin, and he gets it to go, and we're tied at 11. Yep. And now a turnover by San Diego in the backcourt. Yep, inbounding he, the ball. It's okay to get one foot out of bounds and leave the other one in the air, but you can't have it down inside the court. I didn't see it, but he must have had his foot touching inside. Josh Pierre Louis has checked into the ball game for the Gauchos, the product from Plainfield, New Jersey. Yeah, he stepped in with the ball and then stepped out. And Eric Olin wanted a, an explanation of that. 
Here is Pierre-Louis, first touch, drives to the basket, puts up a tough shot. Eight ahead with the rebound, and Robinson puts it back up and in, and the Gauchos lead it 13 to 11. That was a good drive, just a poor finish by Josh. He didn't get his feet under him, went up off balance. Point guard for uh, this team is a slasher, and he's a good ball handler. Down on the baseline, tough shot by Rochak. The Gauchos defended well, and UCSB up in the front court with it. Robinson blocked the shot, actually. Barnes for three, and that's off the back rim. Rebound on the weak side by McLaughlin, and Jacory puts it up in traffic, no good. The ball tipped out to Pierre-Louis, but he lost it. And here comes Howell the other direction. Howell going in, stripped that time by McLaughlin. Here's the pass up ahead to Pierre-Louis, almost intercepted by Rochak. Now a three on the way by Sonny, and that's off the mark. And San Diego now restores order after the rebound by Killingsworth. I like Mickey Howell. I think he's a good point guard. He's uh, thin, 6'3", 165, but he does a good job of controlling the ball. And here's an offensive foul on Rochak. Yeah, he was moving. Gabe Hadley and Hugh Baxter back in the game for UC San Diego. Well, the Gaucho is looking to add to the two-point lead here, Coach, with 12.35 left. Yep, and uh, again, running man-to-man -man, uh, offense. Trying to get the ball in deep. Here is Sonny now kicking it into the corner to Ramsey. Seven on the shot clock. Out to Barnes. Barnes traveled. Yep. The jump stop that wasn't executed properly he had his... Feet too far apart. Again, these offensive fundamentals are very, very important in running good offense. And there you saw the traveling violation. 13 to 11, Gauchos with the lead. And this is Howell now, kicking it out to Baxter. His three is too strong. And all by himself, Sekou Torre in the game for the Gauchos, pulls down the rebound. They do a good job of getting back. Uh, they give up uh, going to the offensive boards, but they do a good job of getting all five guys back in front of the ball. Here's Torrey. Barnes was going to set a screen for him. Out top, Torrey lost the ball, got it back, puts up a reverse layup. No good. And the foul here, I think, is on Seku pushing off. No, it's not on Seku. It's on Destin Barnes. Either way, it'll be UC San Diego's possession. When we return from the media timeout, 11.37 left to go here in the first half. UCSB clinging to a two-point lead here on ESPN3. Santa Barbara, where beauty meets brilliance. A dynamic environment that prizes academic inquiry and creativity to generate discoveries with wide-ranging impact. We are diverse in our pursuits, yet connected in our collective drive toward excellence. We are community-driven and globally focused, independent thinkers and consensus builders. This inspirational setting, this collaborative community, this is UC Santa Barbara. Black lives matter. We stand for unity. The measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. We stand for equality. We stand together against racial injustice. Black lives matter. Let's come together now. The time to stand up is now. Santa Barbara, we must all do our part to bring awareness, use our voices, and demand change. And you look at it one more time, the 
mistakes of the Gauchos, the missed layups in this one, yep. really hurting them early on, Coach. Yeah, and it's not like they're, they are being contested, but it's not a shot blocking contest. It's just they're not going up and paying attention to the backboard and just lay it up off the glass. San Diego is shooting 44% from the field. Four of nine, the Gauchos 43%, six of 14. Gaucho bench, yelling defense. Play happening right in front of that bench. Here's Killingsworth and he'll launch a three and he gets it. Boy, the, can they shoot the three-pointer? You see San Diego's Jake Killingsworth. And just like that, the Tritons back up 14 to 13. Yeah, he's a good shooter at about six foot four or so. Here is Ajari Sani getting it down low to Miles Norris, missed the baby hook and the rebound by the point guard, Mikey Howell. And the Gauchos not doing themselves any favors from close in and Howell driving hard to the basket, draws the foul. He's left-handed, he's gonna go left probably pretty well, so you gotta overplay that left-hand drive and force him back to his weak hand. So that foul is on Sekou Torre. That's his first personal team foul number three on the Gauchos. And Howell's first is good. This team, uh, UC San Diego, a Division II team last year, they had a lot of success uh, last year. They, they only lost one game and went yeah, all the way. 30 to and 1. 30 and 1. So they're used to winning and they're used to completing things. So. They're a team to be reckoned with, even though they're a little smaller than the normal uh, Big West team. Howell, that was just his second missed free throw of the season, so he's six of eight. Makes one out of two. Tritons by two. They are really doing a good job on McLaughlin, who gets it down to Amadou So, and So scores from inside. Nice pass over the top by Ja'Cory McLaughlin. That time, a really good pass. We, he read the defense, uh, J-Rock did, McLaughlin, and got it up over the defense. Tied at 15, 10-12, left first half. On the baseline is Hadley. And he's going to go against McLaughlin, a little fadeaway jumper. Good shot, but couldn't get it to go, and the rebound so. Good defense by McLaughlin, got his hand up, contested the shot. And now McLaughlin will try to put the Gauchos in front. Missed it, but it comes all the way out to DeVerell Ramsey. He'll fire up the three. That's off the mark. And Joe Pasternak shaking his head at that shot selection there. Whoops. In Open the corner shot. is Hadley, and he gets it to go. Another three-pointer by uh, UC San Diego. See, they're good at getting down the court early and getting on that three-point line, or just behind it anyway, huh? 18 to 15, here's another pass down low to So. Amadou inside, draws the foul, and he'll go to the line for two. That foul was on Hugh Baxter. Yeah, that's a handful for Baxter. Baxter's 6'8", 210, but, you know, Amadou is 6'9", 230, and quick as a cat. Tough guard, tough player to guard down in there deep when he gets the ball. So Amadou with two free throws, misses on the first. So the third leading scorer for the Gauchos, now 18 of 23 this season from the line. He's a good free throw shooter, just off the mark on the first one there. Yeah, he has a routine where he bounces it once and goes up and shoots it. I don't think he bounced it that time. We'll see how he does it the second one. His routine is to bounce it once. And then put it up. That time he did it, but he still missed it. And Ja'Cory McLaughlin, the rebound for the Gauchos. So they'll have another shot at it. Here is Sonny bump, no call. And the Gauchos just turn it over. Well, as you mentioned, Coach, they haven't played in two weeks. They haven't played an opponent uh, in two weeks. Yep. And there is some definite rust, and you don't see Ja'Cory McLaughlin making mistakes like that very often. Yeah, he just he just got the ball a little too high on the dribble. It, those are all little individual things that they know they shouldn't be doing, but it's, it's hard sometimes when you've been laying off. Now there's a drive all the way. And that's Howell, too hard off the glass, so the rebound ahead to Ramsey. That was contested by 
Norris gets good position inside and connects on the baby hook. Nice pass that time by Ajari Sonny. Very nice look by Ajari. Read the defense and got it to him at four feet. Tritons by one, 18-17. Here is Howell and Mikey with a drive and a reach in by Ajari Sani. So he'll pick up the foul and Howell will go back to the line for two. That was hard for us to see and we were on the same angle as the official, right? Yep. Nailed it. <laughs> the official right in front of the Gaucho bench. Yeah, there was a there was a reach in. Good call. Yep. Yep. Yeah, he reached across his arm, raked it out. Howell, who was one for two in his last trip, misses here. Here comes Josh Pierre-Louis back for the Gauchos, along with Robinson Edehan. Yeah, the defense defense is, is a little, little less than desired right now for the Gauchos. But, you know, they're playing a team that moves the ball quickly and that cuts quickly, and, and they're not an easy team to guard, especially when you can shoot the three-point shot like they do. And you see San Diego coach has had seven games canceled because of COVID related issues this season. Seven games. Here is Pierre Louis and Josh hit the bottom of the backboard on the pass that time and Rochek comes down with it for UC San Diego. I think if Pierre Louis goes with the reverse layup, it's uncontested. Just read the defense and finish. That's all he has to do. He can beat these guys on the drive, but he can't finish if he doesn't read the defense. Very and Rochek nice lost it. Here's Ramsey the other way. Leaves it for Norris and Miles shot off the mark. Rebound Hugh Baxter. The Gauchos have just not been effective in close so far in this game. Nope, that pass looked like it surprised him. I don't know. Usually we'll make that. Jay Nagel getting ready to come in. Here's Hadley with it. Now they'll work it on top to Howell. A screen on the ball and a pop. He screens and pops. And that three is off the mark. The rebound comes down to Norris at three-point attempt by Gabe Hadley, who's got a pair of them. Skip pass to Ramsey. Now they work it on top. Right side here is McLaughlin. Jacory trying to go baseline. Gets it to Norris. Back Jeez. to Jacory. He'll fire up the long three, and he gets it from the right corner. Jacory McLaughlin. And the Gauchos lead it 20 to 19 with seven minutes to go, first half. A nice shot by McLaughlin. I thought Miles passed up about an eight foot shot prior to that pass. Back yeah, to I McLaughlin. did too. Yep. Nice cut there. And layup. that's Baxter. Just a quick pass and cut. They got beat on it, and they've been beat on it twice already tonight. Good Gauchos, execution uh, by UC San Diego. Yeah, Excellent. sorry, Coach. The Gauchos, I was going to say, they are really guarding against the three-pointer, and they've been burned twice on those cuts to the basket. Here is McLaughlin getting the short jumper to go, and UCSB back up by one. It looks like that McLaughlin could get any shot he wants at any time almost. He's, he's getting into the paint, and he's... Uh, he can rise up above him with this jump. And there's a turnover by San Diego. That one just off the hands of Hugh Baxter. Nothing wrong with the pass, but no. a turnover by the Tritons. And a timeout on the floor, a media timeout. 6-11 left here in the first half. We've got a good one. Santa Barbara 22, UC San Diego 21 on ESPN. The Tritons are having their way from three-point range. They are five of nine so far in this game. That's 56%. The Gauchos are two of six from downtown. And Santa Barbara out-rebounding UC San Diego right now 13 to nine. And you know, they, they're uncontested shots. Uh, the contested ones they've missed, but the, the ones that have been open, they have made. They're a very good three-point shooting team, obviously. And as we said earlier, they average 33s a game. Here's Pierre Louis with it in the front court. Gauchos lead by one. And now McLaughlin draws the foul here, and that is going to be on Chase Rockamore, who's just checked back in for San Diego. Yeah, he he, uh, he has a tough task of guarding McLaughlin, which is which is tough when when he wants to put it on the floor and get to the paint. He can do it against most people. Here is Sonny off a screen from Robinson Adehan, and 
Sonny knocks down the three, and the Gaucho lead is four, 25-21. So Ajari Sani, the second leading scorer with the Gauchos this season at 14 points a game. Pretty good from downtown. He's now 20 of 40. 50% from three-point range for Ajari. Here's a drive, a whistle, and an offensive foul called on Tony Rochak. Yeah, it's a tough play. A very nice play by Robinson. He stayed in front of him. And that's, I think, the third foul. Maybe third foul on him, or at least the second. Hey, led looked like led with the elbow. That's his second. Yep. Yeah, he couldn't beat him off the floor, so he tried to beat him with a push. That's what offensive players do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jay Nagel in the game for the Gauchos has the ball between the circles. Now to Sonny. Good pass into a day hand, and Robinson had that one slip out of his hands. May have been partially blocked. Here is Jacory McLaughlin a three, and that is no good. Bryce Pope the rebound for UC San Diego, and the Tritons up the floor. This is Hadley with it. There's another, In the corner. another open three. And that's Bryce Pope. Yeah, you just can't leave them open. Uh, you can't leave the guys that can make threes from that area. Gauchos are making some mistakes defensively. Gaucho lead is one. McLaughlin now trying to penetrate, kicks it instead to Pierre-Louis, and Josh is off the mark with his shot, and the rebound to Hadley. And that wasn't even close, was it? No, not like Josh. He's a good shooter. Just off the mark in a big way on that one. Hadley kicks it back out, and this is Matt Gray. And Ooh, San Diego just out-hustled the Gauchos good for that one. Good hustle on that play. Frank and drive all the way. And a free throw line jumper is good by Bryce Pope. So some sloppy ball handling in there. Good hustle by UC San Diego and then some sloppy ball handling. And they still get two points out of it. Yeah, and they, they have the lead. They stayed with it, didn't they? And that's a sign of a good offensive team. Stay with it. McLaughlin misses. But how about that follow from Robinson Edahan? And the back and forth game continues. The Gauchos lead at 27-26 with 3.30 left to go here in the first half. There's that one-hand pass that I don't like. A no, dribble. you don't like that, do you? No, the one-hand dribble pass is a turnover waiting to happen. Killingsworth with it. And now a timeout, UC San Diego. Especially at point guards. When point guards use it, they're the guy that's supposed to be the most solid. Exactly. And so when Hal uses it, you know that uh, the coach isn't liking that a whole lot. Media time or a timeout, UC San Diego. I beg your pardon. Gauchos by one. We'll be back. is Big West Basketball. Two new teams, all new format, but the same goal, to win a Big West championship. Like Explorers of the New World, these 11 teams will try to navigate an ever-changing landscape. It's about more than just winning games. It's overcoming adversity and reflecting the pride of an entire university. And it's never meant more than now. This is Big West Basketball. In the middle of an information revolution. Never before has business relied on their engineering teams more than they do today. At Logic Monitor, we build the most extensible platform ever. Within minutes, customers can monitor their entire infrastructure comprehensively from on premises to the cloud. Jerry Fall, Coach Jerry Pim back and how about this? Former Gaucho Gabe Vincent, the last two games for the Miami Heat, Vincent has gotten the start in both games and gone for 24 and 21 points respectively. 21 last night. That was a uh, 
That was a tweet from Shane Bieber, the former Gaucho great on the mound for the baseball team here. Bieber, the Cy Young Award winner for the Cleveland Indians. Gauchos wanted to travel there. They'll take the rebound from Amadou So, but that was a congratulatory tweet from Shane Bieber to Gabe, Gabe Vincent, Vincent, a couple yeah. of former Gauchos doing yeah. really well in the pros. Gauchos leading by one here over UC San Diego. Ramsey gets it back on top to Norris, who's back in the game. Here is Sonny Ajari with a long two. Foot was on the line, no good. Tipped out of bounds by Norris. Well, Gabe, Gabe had two starts down there at Miami, and he had 24 in the overtime game they lost, and 21 again last night. That's it's great for him to get, to get a break like this and get in a good team in the NBA. Congratulations to Gabe Vincent. Great, great kid. Yep. Stockton, California. San Diego trying to regain the lead. Here's Killingsworth with it. On top, they go to Pope. Around the screen that time from Baxter. Now Baxter, as they work the, the outside offense, here is a jump shot. That's off the mark by Howell, and the Gauchos get the stop. Move it. Gauchos need to keep moving that ball to get to the, there's a shot. And he, another right. miss from in close. And there was a foul on Amadou So. He got away with it, no whistle. The Tritons, nine of 20, 45%. The Gauchos, 12 of 30 from the field. And a three-point attempt on the way is off the mark by Killingsworth. And the Gauchos get another stop. Final 145 of the first half. And the skip pass to DeBro Ramsey. And he hits the three. Ramsey with the assist that time from Ja'Cory McLaughlin. Well, there's three shooters in there for the Gauchos now on the perimeter. McLaughlin, Ajari, and, of course, DeBro. Defense has been a problem, though. Here's another drive and a pitch off for a layup. And that's Baxter finishing. They can't control the dribble drive. The help comes. That's good play by UC San Diego. Sonny to Ramsey. DeVerl trying to hit another one and does. DeVerl Ramsey with a three-pointer. That's the fifth of the game by the Gauchos. And they increase the lead to five. Less than a minute to go, first half. Stay in front of them. Good job by Ramsey, because Howell is a good point guard. He certainly is. Bryce Pope with it, now to Howell. They work the motion Screen offense. And why, why is he out there so far? Hmm. He's supposed to hedge that. Amadou Sa hedged it and stayed. I don't know what he's doing. And Hugh Baxter finished. Yep, it was quick screen and roll. I mean, it's easy. Coach Pasternak, no doubt, will make some adjustments at halftime as he has seen his team get burned with that uh, pick and roll, screen and roll. They'll take 30-second time out to put up a play. 15 seconds on the clock, 21.7 on the, on the game clock. So they'll do something to get a, a good shot down towards the end of it. But... Uh, you know, really, Gauchos just have to settle in and make, make the right reads against that defense. Uh, McLaughlin dribble drive, he was in there for a layup, and he was looking to pass. Just, just slow down and read the defense. Same thing with uh, UC San Diego. They haven't been playing much. They've lost a couple games because of the COVID. Mm -hmm. So this, these are two teams that look like they haven't played in a while. Well, they've... <laughs> UC San Diego was able to make one of the games up against UC Irvine last weekend. That was a non-conference game. Those two teams will meet, we hope, later on this season. Here are the Gauchos now with 10 on the shot clock. And a near turnover as McLaughlin gets it to Ramsey. Back to McLaughlin, his three on the way. That's short. Inside rebound, Amadou So put it up. No good. He's fouled on the play. Fouled by Hugh Baxter. And a great rebound by Amadou So. No question, he went after that and got it with both hands. Uh, the power shot to go right back up, and he was fouled. So Amadou goes to the line, a good free throw shooter, 81% coming into the game, and he yeah. makes the first. There's Joe Pasternak. Yes, he's... Are you going to send in Robinson Edahan? Robinson's getting ready, it looks like, to come in. Miles Norris comes out. Yeah, I think they'll 
they'll put Robinson in for that last defensive possession and save a potential foul from uh, Amadou. And so makes the second, makes them both. Brandon Cyrus is also in the game for the Gauchos, who lead by five here at halftime, 35, 37.2 seconds remaining. Plenty of time for the Tritons to move it up the floor and get a shot off. Left-handed, coming to the left. Here's Howell now. He'll launch a three, and that's way short. And the Gauchos lead it by five, 35 to 30. Howell actually got a pretty good look from three-point range. And there you see Joe Pasternak heading for the Gaucho locker room. Probably not real happy. Uh, I would guess Jerry, not. Yeah. I think the sloppiness of the game doesn't help a, a head coach's attitude towards the game. I think both head coaches are probably shaking their head a little bit exactly. with the uh, sloppiness of that first half. But hey, they're guarding each other, so you got to credit the defense a little bit. We're at halftime. Our score, UC Santa Barbara 35, UC San Diego 30. We'll take a break and be back on ESPN3. Jerry Fall, Coach Jerry Pym back here at the Thunderdome where the Gauchos lead UC San Diego by 5, 35 to 30. In a back and forth game, Coach, UC San Diego demonstrating its three-point uh, shooting ability as we look at some first half highlights here. Here's DeVerl taking it all the way for a layup. A pretty good read that time by DeVerl. Here's a good three-pointer by the lefty. He doesn't shoot a lot of them, but there's a cut that, that they shouldn't get. No team should get that, but yet good execution gets you real good shots. And again, UC San Diego doing it from the outside. Amadou So getting a basket there. Nice pass by Sonny here to Miles Norris for the baby hook. So while the Gauchos have had some success inside, they've also had moments where they've missed what are called bunnies. That's a great yes. rebound and put back by Robinson. Yeah, there, I don't know what the reasoning would be, whether you're taking your eyes off the target or what, but too many missed layups uh, by, by the Gauchos. They had four or five that were actually missed or not taken and should have been taken. But it looks like they're in a hurry to me. And, and, you know, instead of normally seeing a, a layup go up strong off of both feet mm -hmm. and put it on the glass or dunk it, it looks like they're trying to rush it and get it up there and so they won't get it blocked. But uh, last time I looked, there wasn't a shot blocker out there, really that can block shots from uh, San Diego, but uh, they, are, they are rushing things a little. And Joe may be talking to his team at halftime about that very issue. I think so, and, uh, and I think you know, both teams will play a little better in the second half. You know, they, they have been off, both teams. Uh, you know, UC San Diego hasn't played a lot of games because right. they, of the COVID thing, and, and they've only played one in the last month, I think, and UCSB has been off for a couple of weeks, so. Uh, it does show a little bit, but let's let's hope they pick it up and play with less errors in the second half. All right, we'll take another break. Gauchos by five here at halftime from the Thunderdome in Santa Barbara, California, here on ESPN3. Back here at the Thunderdome in Santa Barbara, California, where the homestanding Gauchos lead the Tritons of UC San Diego 35 to 30. I'm Jerry Fall, along with the coach, Jerry Pym, as we look at the statistics here in the first half, coach, the Gauchos out rebounding UC San Diego 19 to 14 among the stats we look at. 36% from three for the Gauchos and 46 for UC San Diego, a good shooting team, and 46 to 44 on the percentage for field goals 19 14 rebounds and of course those turnovers 17 of them between both teams this that kind of lends itself to the classification that we gave a little sloppy a little sloppy is right Nagacho's average just a little more than 10 per game so they're going to have to really uh, be a little sharper in the second half coach to uh, stay within that uh, that average range of theirs of course, as we mentioned, the outset, UC San Diego, they are averaging in the early going. And granted, it's a small sample size. They've only played three games, but averaging 12 steals a game. So they know how to get into passing lanes. They do. They're off of them a little, and that gives them a little more time to react to the passes. So Gauchos, when people don't play you real tight, it's easier to pass it by somebody's paying you real tight. When they're playing off of you just a little bit, they're playing you for the drive, then, then they are reading the ball, and that gives them the reaction time to get a tip. 
Right. And San Diego does that really well. They're well coached on defense, and they play off of because they're going to get driven because it's a quickness factor. So instead of coming up and overplaying the ball, they give you a little cushion, which is smart defensive basketball by UC San Diego. When you look at the Big West Conference standings here, some teams have played uh, a number of games, including the Gauchos. Bakersfield has played 11. Irvine has played 10. And then you have other teams. I mean, poor UC Davis up there in Yolo County. They, they've they only played four games. And the... Uh, the opportunity to play basketball either on the road or at home for Davis has been very tough because of the Yolo County shutdown. And uh, now you see UC San Diego coming in having played just three games. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's just a crazy year when you take home games from the 49ers playing in Arizona because they can't play in their place up in, in the Santa San Francisco Clara. 49ers, right? You know, so, yeah, it's, it's just tough. It's just a tough deal with... Uh, with everybody in all sports but we got to get through this we got to hang in there as a as a community of sports and just do what's necessary to get through this and i think now that the vaccines are out hopefully we will get on the top side of this virus and and uh, i know it's a tough thing for everybody to take when there's nobody in the building, and it's just not the same atmosphere that we are used to. Exactly. The Gauchos from three-point range are 5 of 14. San Diego, UC San Diego, 6 of 13. We'll take our final break here at halftime and be back. The Gauchos lead it by five over the Tritons here at the Thunderdome. Jerry Fall, Coach Jerry Penn back here at the Thunderdome where... The Gauchos lead at 35 to 30 as we get set to start the second half. Coach, and your impressions, uh, your uh, expertise uh, as far as both teams go for the second half. Well, I think both teams will probably have talked a lot about execution and, and ball handling and reading the defense and making the right play against the defense. With 17 turnovers between the two teams, I think both teams would have stressed that. And, and I think then make changes to whatever their offense can see would be an advantage. And right now, I think the screen and roll or the fake screen and roll for San Diego has gotten them a lot of good shots. So I assume they'll keep doing that. In other words, instead of screening on the ball, they go up like they're gonna screen and they slip it as we call. It. And that slip gets them two or three layups in that first half. The original starting five for both teams out there on the floor to start the second half. Glad you could join us here on ESPN3. First of two, the Tritons and the Gauchos will play again tomorrow night at 5 o'clock Pacific time, 8 o'clock Eastern, here at the Thunderdome. Here's Howell. Good, talented point guard. And the jump shot on the way by Pope is off the mark. And they do get back quickly. They don't go hard to the offensive boards. They... They get back. Amadou so with a baby hook on the right baseline. And Amadou gets the basket. And the Gaucho lead their biggest of the game, 37 to 30. And Ramsey gave a good short pass across the boards. And that was the proper entry to get it into Amadou Saw at the post. Here's a hard drive by Pope. Now they swing it to the far side. That's Killingsworth. Back out on top to Howell. Screen and faked it. He faked the screen that time. Howell down the lane, lays it up and in. He just beat everybody to the basket that time. Again, Amadou gets out of position on that screen. It was a fake screen, and now Amadou is automatically out of position on that particular play. Ramsey with it. And here is a floater by Norris. That's off the mark, and the bounce rebound. Comes to Bryce Pope for UC San Diego. The Tritons up the floor, wide open three, Howell good. And that is not gonna make Joe Pasternak very happy at all. As wide open as he was in the transition defense or lack thereof for the Gauchos. Lack thereof is exactly right. They didn't get him covered. That's a foul. That's the first time I've seen San Diego belly up on a player. And I don't know why he would do it at 22 feet. But that's Killingsworth's uh, assignment, I guess, is to get up into him. And uh, that time, it, of course, he did, and he fouled him. Yeah. 
Here is McLaughlin going in hard from the left side. No good. So the rebound puts it back up and scores. Amadou So making his presence felt here early on in the second half. He's got four points in the second half. The defense by the Gauchos has not been solid. Good by DeVerl there. Excellent on the ball defense. Oh, uh, that's a moving screen. Yep. That's an offensive foul on Hugh Baxter on the screen. Yep. Yeah, you just can't move. You got to stay stationary. Yep, and DeVerl Ramsey drawing the offensive charge. That was a good job of getting through the screen by DeVerl, and he caused that foul. Or the moving pick, not the offensive foul, but the moving pick here is so. Trying to stay hot here in this second half. Lost the ball, but there's Cyrus. Brandon had it blocked from behind and out of bounds off the Gauchos. Hugh Baxter with a nice block from behind. Well, that's tough. That was tough. Uh, I thought he was going to go up for the layup, but it looked like it was contested. It's a good rebound by, uh, by Cyrus. But maybe a little ball fake on that shot would have got that guy up in the air. And some backcourt pressure by the Gauchos. Brandon Cyrus knocking that one away. See how the players have to go get the ball? Because mm -hmm. other people cannot touch that ball or they have to take it out of play. Let's see if the Gauchos back off the press. They do. One on one. Ramsey working hard, moving his feet. On Howell. Howell's a good point guard. His left is much better than his right. Look at the defense by DeVerl Ramsey. Wow. Another one hand pass by Howell. Nice shot. Nice goes back nice door, pass. and the layup is good by Killingsworth. And he'll go to the line to try to complete a three point play. What a bounce pass that was by Tony Rochak, who yep. has just checked in. And we'll look at it again, coach. And Miles was overplaying the pass. And of course, the back cut was available. And then McLaughlin was late getting over there as the help. So all in all, you know, defense is step slow and offense good execution. Norris comes out, Ajari, Ajari Sani comes in, Brandon Cyrus comes out, and Destin Barnes is also in for the Gauchos. So Jake Killingsworth from San Carlos went to Columbia University, a transfer, cannot complete the three-point play, and so the rebound. Well, the Gauchos were interested in him when he was at Columbia, and he was looking to come back into California. And so they had done a little recruiting on Killingsworth. So they an know, excellent, they excellent student. Yes, very good student. You don't get into Columbia or one of the UC schools if you're not a good student. How about that? I'm going to do so. It wasn't exactly an alley-oop slam. It was more like an alley-oop layup, but now, it, it, it counts as two slip, points. It slipped it. <laughs> <laughs> Gauchos by four, 41-37. Howell, no look pass in the corner. The three on the way by Pope. That's off the mark. And there is Amadou. He's really playing a good second half to start. Ramsey, good penetration. Kick to Barnes. His three. That's off the mark. And Amadou high for the offensive board. Amadou so. Coming out of the locker room on fire here for the Gauchos. So inside had that Give one a blocked. A little ball fake would have been useful that time. Tony but the Rochette defense, blocked it. defense timed it. Yeah, he timed it perfectly. Excellent defense. But on that, if you got a guy, you got to give him a fake on it. Rochak with it. Now to Pope. And Very Pope nice. Free throw line jumper. That's no good. Good defense by the Gauchos. Here comes Sonny with it. McLaughlin looking inside. Amadou. Wanted the ball. Instead, it's Sonny with a three. That's off the mark. But uh, Ajari will get the loose ball out near midcourt. And a good bounce pass to Ramsey. Oh, how about that turn by DeVerl? Couldn't yep. get it to go. And there's So with the rebound. And he draws the foul. That's a tough shot that Ramsey tried, though. I mean, that's so difficult to stop that quick and locate the target. I mean, he was, that's at the end of it. You didn't get to see it. But there, yeah. that one. I mean, he didn't get a good look at where he was and <laughs> where the basket was. So. What a start to the second half for Amadou So. We take a break. 15-33 left to go here in the second half. Gauchos by four. You see San Diego right now, 14 of 30. That's 47%. The Gauchos are shooting 40%, 17 of 42. 
San Diego is seven of 15 from three point range. The Gauchos are five of 16. Yeah, both teams uh, shooting the ball in the 40s. The Gauchos have easier shots, not easier, but closer into the basket type shots. Here's a pass down low to Robinson Edehan, who's checked into the game, and that yeah. one may have been partially blocked by Rocek. You see San Diego comes up with a stop. Rocek will launch the three, and that one off the mark. The rebound, Sekou Tori, who has also checked in for UC Santa Barbara. Now yeah, the Gauchos have Tori and, uh, and Sani at the outside spots, and McLaughlin playing at the point. Oh, and he missed the cripple. Another layup missed by the Gauchos. And another and rebound. another one missed. Another rebound by Robinson Edehan, and he'll go to the line for two. So that doesn't count as a missed shot when you get fouled. No. But the other one did, and, and that's seven missed layups, according to my count, that the Gauchos have had so far in this game. Five in the first half and two more now here in the second. And that foul was on, they gave it to Mikey Howell as Robinson's first free throw rattles out. Neville Ramsey coming into the game. And McLaughlin comes out. There's DeVerro. So DeVerro is at the point now, and McLaughlin to get a quick rest. He'll be back shortly. One for two at the free throw line, and that's about what Robinson's shooting, 54% on the season. Yachos with some full court pressure here, leading by five. And Edehan knocks that one away. Robinson pushes dive. it up into the front court, and he doesn't have to dive. He's got it, and that ball kicked, and that was fortuitous for UC San Diego because nobody was on Sekou Tori, who was cutting to the basket as Tony Rochak kicked the ball. And I we'll thought he was going to dive, coach. Jerry. I thought he was going to dive. <laughs> Excellent defense by right. Robinson Edehan. Oh, they didn't show it, but right there, I thought he was going to dive. dive. Here's a turnover by the Gauchos. And a nice play by Tony Rochak to knock that one off of one of the UCSB players. Off of Robinson, off of his leg. This is Howell again, the left-hander. Good-looking point guard, guarded by another good-looking point guard, Devero Ramsey. Yep. Here's Killingsworth with it. Now back out on top, it's Hadley. Yachos guarding the perimeter, guarding against the three-point shot. Howell with three on the shot clock, puts it up, no good, and the rebound pulled down by DeVerro Ramsey, and he's fouled from behind by Rochick. Yep, yep. Rochick's kind of had a tough night. He was, he was just turning to run, and he turned and ran right over DeVerro. DeVerro made a good play to get that ball and get it started on the break. He does that well. He's one of the better defensive rebounders that the Gauchos have to start the break right off the, right off the rebound. DeVerro Ramsey, as you saw, coming out of the game. Or, I checked that, I beg your pardon, Sekou Tori coming out of the game. DeVerro's still in there. And Ja'Cory McLaughlin in there for the Gauchos. That alley-oop alley -oop pass almost went in, trying to get it to Miles Norris, who's come back in. That, Almost was a basket. Yeah. Instead, it's a turnover. He threw it a little bit too close to the rim. And a three-pointer by Killingsworth. That's off the mark. The ball tipped out to Killingsworth. And UC San Diego will set up again. They've got another opportunity after the offensive rebound. It's the first offensive rebound I think they've had in the game. Hadley kisses that one high off the glass, gets it to go. And we've got a three-point game, 42-39, Gauchos. Nice play by Hadley. And now, so we'll back down Baxter, and Amadou gets in close for a high percentage baby hook and gets it to go. Seems like he could get that about whenever he wants. Yeah, you would think so, Coach. It, when they don't double him, here's the ball loose on the floor. When they don't double him, he could get that anytime he wanted. There is a drive and a missed layup by Rockmore. Gauchos the other way. Ramsey, reverse layup is good. DeVerro Ramsey, what a play and a timeout, UC San Diego. 
Deverell ended up in the first row, actually. He was going so fast, but he was <laughs> he able did. to spin it off the glass. That is one thing that Deverell does is he he gets going. He gets going in a hurry. Great nice play by Deverell play. Ramsey. Yep. And a timeout on the floor. 12.39 left to go. Gauchos by seven. We'll be back. Gauchos lead it by 7, 46-39 as you look at Deverell Ramsey one more time and that fine play just before the San Diego timeout. Crossover and then the reverse layup. Yep, very and nice. Very got nice. it to go. Pretty good control that time by, by Ramsey. I'd like to see him go up straight and stick it and stay on the court, but he was going too fast. But he made a great play and got the hoop. This equals UCSB's biggest lead of the night. Josh Pierre-Louis back in there. He's guarding the man out front, or out on the left wing, and that is Chase Rockamore. Inside with a shot that's short by Pope. Good defense by McLaughlin. Jacory coming off his first career double-double of 19 points and 10 rebounds on January 2nd against Cal State Fullerton. That was the last Gaucho game. Here's so good position inside, needs a bounce, didn't get it. And it's going to stay zone with defense, the Gauchos. Zone defense that time, uh, Jerry. And uh, I don't think that So realized it because he had a drop step dunk if he'd have gone the other way. But he turned to that left shoulder instead of reading the defense. Norris in hard with a there good layup go. off the glass. Miles Norris. Off of both feet, off the glass. Good offensive move. Gauchos have their biggest lead, 48-39, 11.45 left to go, second half. But the way UC San Diego shoots three-pointers. Nothing safe, is it? Nothing is safe, <laughs> you wouldn't think. <laughs> Here's Howell There's with it. There's a slip again. Oh, Baxter was and wide they, open. Yeah, again. And three seconds is called, boy. That one, I think Mikey Howell would be the first one to tell you, that, that one's on him because yep. Baxter was wide open wide on the cut open. And, open. and they didn't get it to him. I don't know why Amadou Sal is out of position that quickly. He's trying to hedge the screen out in front. It's too bad we can't replay that because it's a, it's a, key, th a key point, but we, we'll, we'll talk to you after the interview. All right, 11.29 left to go. Gauchos by nine. We'll be back. And here's the play right before we were talking about, Coach, uh, three-second violation because yep. Baxter was in there, but Amadou was way out on the left wing. Yeah, Amadou got lost on a, on a slip screen. He's got to go with the screener. So here is Pierre, Josh Pierre-Louis back in there. On top they go to Norris, and Miles will pull up for a 17-footer. That's off the mark, and the rebound, Howell. Gauchos with their biggest lead of the game with 11.08 left to go. Ooh. Pierre Louis ran right into a screen. Oop. Back out on top. Here's Baxter a three. That's no good. And Josh has the rebound for the Gauchos. Boy, Amadou wanted it. He was open on the break. Gets it down low inside. Going against Baxter. Put it up. No good. Baxter battling for the board. And Baxter able to knock it to his teammate, Chase Rockamore. That's yeah, too bad. Ball bounced out. It's a one-foot shot. And that's good defense by Pierre Louis forcing yep. the travel. He stayed in front of him, and that was good defense. He stayed in front. Yeah, Amadou misses that right there next to the rim because he doesn't get power, go power with it. He could dunk it. Saw the replay there of that good defense by Pierre Louis. Excellent defense. Gauchos have had some. Guys cutting underneath, and the passes just aren't made to him, and that's a turnover by UCSB. So Pasternak not happy at all about that, obviously. No, he's going too fast to make that play, and that ball is thrown at 100 miles an hour. Nobody's going to be able to catch it. Here's the screen now. The screen up the top. Now they didn't use it. There's the slip. That time Amadou went with him. That's Here's Jake. another screen and a roll for the three-pointer. And Baxter with a three. Missed it. Norris the rebound for the Gauchos. Jake Kozakowski wears number 13. He's in the game for UC San Diego. And he picks up 
Bajari Sani on that drive. Here's Norris at three. And Kosikowski the rebound. Baseline drive. And a good play by Miles Norris. The turnover by UC San Diego, the steal by Norris. Amadou looking to back down Baxter. Goes to the baseline, turns it over. San Diego's offense has gone quiet here. Well, they're not making the three, and that's, that's when they depend on it. They, they, you know, their offense is really dependent upon making that three. Here's Howell driving against Pierre Louis, and Josh commits the foul, and that'll send uh, Mikey Howell to the line for two. Look at it again here, Coach. Yeah, that's a pretty good drive uh, by the left-hander. You got to overplay his left. Again, I think we get different people guarding him. They're not overplaying that left side. And they're going to give that foul, at least according to the scoreboard, to Miles Norris on the help defense. But huh. it looked like uh, Pierre Louis was the one who bumped him. Norris and Pierre Louis, along with. Amadou So come out. Destin Barnes back in there along with Robinson, Edahan, and DeVro Ramsey back in. So the outside players now are Arsani and uh, McLaughlin and Ramsey, and of course inside is Barnes and Robinson. Point guard for UC San Diego makes the free throw. So it's back to a seven point Gaucho lead, 48-41. This is Barnes, he can shoot the three. And McLaughlin will pull up for a long two and he got it, Chikori McLaughlin from straight away. Gives the Gauchos that nine point lead again, 50 to 41. There's a screen on the ball and they went behind it. That's smarter, I think, instead of hedging with the big man out there. That's a travel. And the shot blocked by Edahan, out of bounds. Good play by Robinson. Very nice, very nice play. Tony Rochak had that one sent back home. We'll look at it again here, Coach. The footwork on the post is uh, important in getting and establishing a pivot foot, which he did not do that time. He had both feet as a pivot, and therefore he was moving both feet. And that's called traveling. But it's hard to call when you're looking for contact and everything. A lot of officials don't look down at the feet. You see San Diego working on four minutes without a basket. And here's a foul on Edahan inside. Let's see if that was on the floor. Nope, well, they're going to give him two shots. They're going to say that Rochek was in the act of shooting. We'll look at it again. Yeah, nice he entry went pass by Killingsworth. He was shooting. Yep. He ended up shooting it. And right. a good call by the official. And Rochak makes the first. Anytime you're guarding a postman and he catches it that deep, you got to gap him a little bit. You got to get some reaction time. And if he, if he moves, then you can take that baseline away. One out of two made by Tony. The Gaucho lead is eight. Here is McLaughlin getting inside and Jacory skying for that layup. Nice to give pass. It, yeah, great pass. Give the Gauchos their two biggest lead of the night, 10 points. There's a back cut. Good read of the defense by DeVerl. Gave him a good pass. There's Killingsworth coming off. Here's Howell with it, trying to go by Ramsey, and puts it up with the right to his hand. Right, but he has to shoot it with the right, and that's not his favorite, favorite place. And it was good defense by DeVerl Ramsey. Here is McLaughlin getting it to Edahan, puts it up, scores it. Nice pass by McLaughlin. Edahan got a little break. That one just kind of hit the back rim and died into the basket. The Gaucho is now by 12. 7.30 left to go. Inside is Rochek, and he ends the drought. Uh, that was a late pick and roll. A very nice play by San Diego. On the drive, pick, and just roll. It's a one dribble roll. Yep, just by 10. It's a good thing Jacory is as tall as he is because that pass looked like it was destined for out of bounds. Here's Barnes into the paint. Too hard. 
puts it up, knocks it off the backboard, and there is Edahan with the offensive board. McLaughlin with the leaner in the paint, couldn't get it to go, gets his own rebound. Had he gone back up, I think he had something there. Here is Sonny for three. That's off the back rim. And wow. You see San Diego finally comes up with a stop as that one's rebounded by Hadley. Boy, Jacory got his own miss and was underneath with nobody on him. Rocek goes in hard and scores against Edahan. That's that late screen and roll again. That's two in a row. There where they've screened real low and rolled and got the ball to the roll off, man. Brandon Cyrus is getting ready to come back for the Gauchos along with Amadou So. And that's gonna go against UCSB. That's gonna be on Edahan in a legal screen. And you know, it goes to Edahan, but that's a, a foul caused by the dribbler going too soon. Wait for the screen to get there and if you go too soon, he's still moving. That's a moving screen. Yep. So the dribbler has to wait for the screen. 6-11 left. Gaucho's by eight. Jerry Fall, Coach Jerry Pimback here at the Thunderdome. You see the score. The Gauchos lead by eight with 6-11 left to go here in the second half. Gauchos and... The Tritons, as you look at Joe Pasternak talking to John Reilly, his associate head coach. Both teams are shooting 40%. Gauchos 23 of 58, and UC San Diego 17 of 14. San Diego on a little 4 0 run here. And here is Killingsworth, three. That one hit the glass first, no, and I'm going to do the rebound. Well contested. That was not an open shot. That's not a good three-point shot. When you're contested, move the ball. Get a good one. Here is McLaughlin going in hard, leaving it for so. Blocked from behind by Killingsworth. you got to be kidding me. Wow, and that's going to be a foul on Amadou. That was a guard blocking Amadou So's shot from behind. Because he won't ball fake. He won't shot fake. And Amadou knocked him over there. Yeah, all he has to do is show the ball and the guy will go up and then he'll have a, an easy shot, but he's not doing it. You see San Diego in the front court, Rockamore with it. This is Pope. Killingsworth gets it down to Rocek and he puts it up short. Good defense by So. Very nice. Good defense by Amadou that time. Yep. Gaucho's trying to build on the eight-point lead. So sets a screen Back for McLaughlin. There, they're in their man-to-man -man defense. And here's DeVerro for three. That one rattles in and out. So tries to keep the rebound alive, but it goes to Hadley. Too bad. That was a good open shot. It, it, it went down. It looked like it was halfway down and popped yeah. out. Hadley throws it away. Too much penetration. He got caught in the air and threw it away. He's watching the NBA games. <laughs> Dribble uh, into the paint, jump in the air, and throw it. Yep. Once you leave your feet, you're kind of you're kind of doomed, aren't you? Yeah. The, the pros can do it because they play different defensive rules. You know what I mean? But it's 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 not good good offense to jump in the air and look for somebody to pass to. Ajari Sani is back for the Gauchos. Brandon Cyrus goes to the bench. Sonny with it on the baseline, draws the contact, puts it up, no oh, good, but he'll get two free one. throws. In and out. Yeah, that was that was a good move by Sonny that time. He just he, he doesn't have the power shot, but he got it up there softly off the glass. That was the right play. And that foul on Mikey Howell. That's his second. So Ajari will have two free throws here off that great move he just made and cannot make the first. Yeah, it, 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 it's uh, kind of discouraging when you're an offensive player. You make a good move, you get fouled, and then you go one for two at the free throw line. Gaucho's three of seven from the line tonight, now four of eight. Well, they've only been there eight times. That's not a lot. That's not. That's not. Screen up high, screen, and uh, pop. No screen and roll that time, and there's an open shot by Pope. 
And, and a good rebound by McLaughlin. Very nice, he chased it down. Here is Sonny pulling up for a long two, and he got it, Ajari Sonny with the 17-footer, and the Gauchos by 11. Re he read the defense that time. He got a good open shot. Robinson Edehan getting ready to check back in for the Gauchos. And Howell's pass was tipped by Deverell Ramsey and intercepted by Sonny. He was open, but the uh, pass was tipped. A very good, very good dis uh, deflection by Sonny. No, that was by Deverell. Oh, Sonny got the ball. Here is So inside with the left hand. Amadou puts it up, and the Gauchos have their biggest lead. That time he went to the right shoulder, and there was nobody home. A nice pass into the post. That's it. That's all they have to do is go behind that screen. Rocek with a nice step through, and oh. the foul is called on Amadou So, and that will bring us to immediate timeout here. Two free throws coming up after the timeout. We'll look at it again as they're going to say Amadou hit him. Well, he grabbed his yep. shirt, I think, as he turned. And there was some contact there at the end, yep. too. Yep. Yeah, he fouled him, definitely. All right, so a break here with 3.18 left to go. The Gauchos by 13, 59 to 46 on ESPN3. Yeah, he reached in right at the end. Right at the end, he tried to block it. Right there with his left arm. Yep. Yep. That was a good move by uh, And a good look at it from guy, our crew. Yeah. As uh, Rochik has two free throws, knocks down the first. As we said, the older brother of the Gaucho, Rochik, both from Geneva, Switzerland. I think they're two years difference in age. Now Rochek makes one of two. San Diego six of 11 from the line tonight. The Gauchos now will see if they start to try to take some time with a 12 point lead. Well, that's that one hand a dribble pass again. 10 on the shot clock, Sonny with it. And Ajari on the drive, Rochek blocked the shot out of bounds. Five seconds on the shot clock. Baxter comes back in for UC San Diego and Tony Rochek goes out. That's just a really nice block shot by Rochak. I think Baxter's in there to knock down some three-pointers. Ramsey goes inside to Robinson at Edehan, and Edehan with a left hand just at the shot clock buzzer was down to, it was about to buzz, it was down to one second. Yeah, it took him a little bit to gather himself, didn't it? But uh, he got it up. Gauchos with a 14-point lead, pulling away late in this one. Robinson's guarding a guard outside, and McLaughlin switched onto the postman. 
Now they switch again, and he Boy, traveled. Hadley looked like he traveled oh, there. he did, he did. There's not a good pass. Intercepted by Ramsey. DeVril running by everybody. Now we'll slow it up, and Gauchos will start to take some time off the clock with 2.14 left to go and a 14-point lead. Green on the ball, pop, and try to hit it inside. And that foul away from the ball is going to be on Hugh Baxter. Yeah, he was holding Robinson as he flashed to come get the ball. And that'll be a one and one. That's the seventh team foul on UC San Diego. Back into the game is Jake Kozakowski for the Tritons. Cyrus comes back for the Gauchos. Sonny goes to the bench. So Edahan with a chance to put the Gauchos up a little bit more as he has two free throws. And he's shooting 54% from the free throw line, but he's been working at it and uh, and, and you know, in all honesty, if he wants to play at the end of games in a close game, he's going to have to be prepared to make his free throws. So he, that's another thing he's been working on is his free throw release. He's one for two tonight, and that one is good. Nice. Good backspin on that one. Matt Gray has checked in for the first time tonight for UC San Diego. Baxter goes out. Gauchos with their biggest lead of 15 points. And that one in and out. Oh. Kozakowski the rebound for the Tritons. So no subs can come in when you miss a free throw. No, they can't. 50% <laughs> free throw, yep. Here's a hard drive by Rockamore. Jump in the air and pass. And a little floater is good by nice. Bryce Pope. Nice pull up by Pope that time. He didn't, he didn't charge. Uh, McLaughlin was in front of him and he pulled up and shot it over him. That was a good move. Gauchos by 13, under two minutes to play. McLaughlin with it. Now here's Barnes going in hard to the left. Back out to McLaughlin, got his man in the air. Back to Barnes, lines up the three, and that's good. Destin Barnes with a three-pointer and a quick timeout. Joe Pasternak. And why you do that, you, you do that to get your subs in because they missed free throw, didn't allow them to come in last time. So you call a quick timeout, get the guys in there that you were intending to have in there. And now Sonny comes back in. So there's three guys new to come in. And that's one of the things I think is positive about these Gauchos this year, Jerry, is they, they have an opportunity to sub a lot because they've got 10 guys that they can play. Well, Destin Barnes, we talked about it. He can shoot that three, and he lined that one up and drilled it to give the Gauchos their biggest lead of the game of 16 points. And they didn't really open it up until just the last uh, minute, minute and a half. And their defense has been better in the second half. Yes. The Gauchos, I think, against the UC San Diego offense. But I'll tell you, it's not an easy offense to guard because of the threat of the three-point shot all the time. Little trapping. Now individual defense in the backcourt. Rockamore will bring it up. He's the point guard in there now for San Diego. Kozakowski looking to get a shot off. Back to Gray. And Gray throws it away. This is Ajari Sani. Sani the other direction will lay it up and in. And the Gauchos with 54.6 seconds to go. Lead it by 17 points. Check that 16, 65, 49. Good help defense by the Gauchos. No, nope, 67. It. Sorry, coach. It's <laughs> all right. Put, it's a uh, 18 point lead. Huh? Yeah, they, they put the two on the board late that time. Got me that on that. Turnover by the score scorecard. Wow, nice yep. by Pope from... Deep, really deep. Nice. And coach does not. Uh, he just wanted DeVerle Ramsey to dribble the ball next to yeah. him. And let's see, the Gauchos will probably take a 30-second shot clock violation here. Coach does not want another shot up. Uh, they don't have to take a, a shot. They can, uh, they can penetrate. Nine seconds, eight seconds. They should, they should try and make a shot. And there's a nice drive by DeVerl Ramsey. That'll be the way the Gauchos finish it offensively. Yep. And here now is San Diego with a final shot at it. And that is Pope missing. And that will do it for the ball game. As the Gauchos win it 69 to 52 
over UC San Diego here, and Joe Pasternak has to be much happier with the second half than he was the first half. Yes, I think so, but overall, probably not happy. <laughs> He's happier, but overall, not happy. I think a little sloppy in the first half and, and better in the second half by both teams. And I think tomorrow night, both teams will play better right from the get-go. And uh, it's a funny thing, Jerry. There has been some studies done now that the second night of the back-to-backs, the team that lost, some by 37 points, come back and make it a one-point game in the second game. Yeah. Or it's reversed. So, you know, it's an interesting statistic, but it's been studied now, and, it, and the latest stat came out, the second game is always a reversal or much closer. Yeah. Well, the Gauchos improved to seven and three, three and two in the Big West Conference. San Diego, UC San Diego falls to two and two and zero oh and one in the conference. Coach, I enjoyed it. We'll do it again tomorrow night. All right, we'll see you tomorrow night, Jerry. Okay, so for Jerry Pym, I'm Jerry Fall saying so long from the Thunderdome in Santa Barbara, California, where the final score once again, UCSB 69, UC San Diego 52. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.